Hey everyone, welcome to Up to Speed, your daily update on everything happening around and inside Verizon. Breaking news from yesterday, Houston, we have liftoff for 5G. Jeremy was in the newly chosen city for the press conference yesterday afternoon. Here he is with more. Hey there, I'm at City Hall in Houston, Texas, where the news conference about 5G just wrapped up. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner was joined by Lowell McAdam and Hans Vesberg. They talked about the long-standing relationship between Verizon and the city of Houston. Also talked about 5G and what it means for the residents and the city. Verizon's announcement today is more proof we can turn vision into reality. And Verizon's announcement today means that this company in the city of Houston is prepared to up the ante. And this company is prepared to make a substantial transformative investment in the city of Houston. Everyone here in Houston is very excited about this 5G news. Remember, Houston is the third city that's been named that will roll out 5G this year behind Los Angeles and Sacramento. So much more to come. Back to you, Shravi and Katie. Very exciting news. The event was live streamed on the Up to Speed Facebook page, so if you missed it, you can check out the full replay there. Jeremy also caught up with Hans after the press conference. I love to be out in the field to meet everyone that we're actually touching every day, uh, all the stakeholders that we have in this large company. So I think it's been a great day so far. Exciting day indeed. Now, last quarter, Lowell challenged the V team to double down on our customers, and as a result, we announced a strong second quarter. Hans joined Lowell in Houston for what was Lowell's last webcast as CEO. But before he hands over the reins at the end of the month, he put the new guy through a little lightning round of questions. What are the first uh, 5G devices? Uh, that's going to be uh, home devices uh, covering the home. The second is going to be some uh, uh, phones coming out later on as well. So that's, the, that's how it goes. <laughs> Hey, is this uh, you interviewing me? Do you actually have those questions? It's our employees ah. interviewing you via this via this webcast okay. here. So, uh, okay, what is your favorite line from our credo? Teamwork. Is that a line? Is that a <laughs> no, it's word. I do words. Okay. Okay, you can see this is not rehearsed at all. I mean. <laughs> Teamwork might not be a line, but definitely a key theme throughout the credo. And after Lowell literally handed off the keys, Hans had some kind words to say about his predecessor before ending the webcast with a beautiful tribute video to Lowell. You can watch the full two key results webcast replay, including that tribute to Lowell, on VZ Web. You can also take a deeper dive into the earnings by watching the videos from our business leaders where they discuss results and key priorities for the quarter ahead. And what's a webcast without a little recognition? South Central Wireless leader Krista Bourne presented the Credo Award to Marissa Pratt, a wireless engineer from Houston, Texas, who played a critical role in helping us prepare to roll out 5G. Everything that the Credo embodies, teamwork, values, smiles, family, working together. So if you would please help me celebrate Miss Marissa Pratt. <laughs> The humble Marissa had this to say after receiving the recognition. I'm just doing my job. If I couldn't have done any of this without my team, I want to thank all of them. Congratulations, Marissa. Well deserved. Well, that'll do it for us today. Be sure to follow us on social for everything happening around and inside Verizon. Remember, there's always a higher gear. And until next time, you are up to speed.